This technique is the compression of the fourth ventricle, or the CV4. For this, I am guiding the occiput into extension, and I'm resisting as the occiput goes into flexion. Now remember, the occiput is going to the move away from me in flexion and towards me in extension. So I'm trying to guide it towards me. But in addition, there is also an intraosseous component. So in flexion, the lateral diameter gets wider, and then in extension, it gets narrower. So I'm keeping that in mind as I uh, guide the occiput into extension. So my point of contact is going to be on the occipital squama. I want to be sure that I am medial to the occipital mastoid suture. I don't want to compress that suture. So I'm going to bring my hands medial to that. And I'm using my phenar eminence as the contact point. So I overlap my fingers with my phenar eminence over the squama of the occiput. So let's see that on a live patient. If I find the mastoid portion of the temporal bone, the occipital mastoid suture, I want to go just medial to that with my phenar eminence. And I'm going to overlap my fingertips over the base of the skull and the upper neck. And then I just gently observe as the patient goes into flexion. And then as she comes back into extension, I'm going to guide and gently accentuate that motion. And I'm going to continue to guide into extension until the system completely stops. If she goes into a flexion before we reach that still point, then I'm just going to gently resist that flexion. I don't need to put force or tension into the system. I'm simply guiding into extension and gently resisting flexion. When we get all the way to the bottom of extension, and there's a nice, gentle ceasing of that cranial rhythm, that is the still point. And I wait. I wait at that still point for all the fluid to drain out of the fourth ventricle, hence compression of the fourth ventricle, or CV4. And once that's accomplished, I'll see that the whole system relaxes. The patient's breathing may change. And then the primary respiratory mechanism, that cranial rhythm, will start up again. And when it starts with a nice, big, strong flexion, I just gently follow that flexion all the way out. And then I remove my hands and reassess in a vault hold.